Yes, hello, board. Uh, very quickly, time is limited. Uh, I like, I'm a pragmatist, so I'd like to give you something you can act on. Uh, John was so ambitious here today. Congratulations, John. I never heard you be so progressive. Um, let's look for some resolutions here that you can act quickly on. Uh, we are against mint julep textbooks, because that's what they are. They're mint julep textbooks. Let's also talk about some of the trouble that we've had, maybe because we don't have the right facts. 3% of our student population has sexual differences when they're born. Abnormalities is what they're called, I suppose. There's different terminologies. The point is 3% is about 3,000 kids. So when we're talking about issues of trans kids, and issues of conversion therapy, which I just learned recently is legal here in Broward and in the state. I knew that, but I was not aware that just last year we, we had made it illegal in 2018 and they changed it back just a year ago. We need to have a resolution. If you want kids to not be committing suicides, let them know that someone stands up for them. How can we approve conversion therapy in Broward? The only people who think conversion therapy is possible are bisexuals because it kind of makes some sense to them. It doesn't make sense to anyone else other than someone who's bisexual. And unfortunately, not everyone they send to conversion therapy is bisexual, which it would still be traumatizing. It's absurd in the 20th century. Something else, we still don't have a fire marshal. There's a, so we can, that's not a resolution, that's just something like, how can we not have a fire marshal? Now to get to the fun stuff here, um, there's no place like home is a great place to start because if you want kids to do well in school, you put in shelves, class pets, and error is an opportunity to grow and learn, not punish and test. Uh, we need, if you want true equity, that means 100% equal expectations for all of your students. And if a teacher and your principals don't think every kid can read, and a lot don't. Okay, that's the fact of it. And they're wrong, and they'll argue against you. And that's when you step in and insist, and you educate the teachers that, yes, every kid can read. The kids who can't read, when we've identified issues, they're over here. These kids can read, and if they're not reading, it's on us, period. And I have heard no one there. I mean, I kind of have agreement, I think. But none of you have taken a resolution to say that you actually are committed and believe that every kid can learn. I, I was talking to some people and they said, well, what about math? I said, well, black people can learn math too. Okay, it's us. We're the thing holding kids back from being able to learn. Okay, thank you. Thank you.